Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So are you looking for an apartment in France but not getting response from your landowners? Don't worry, we've got you covered. We know that it can be a bit tricky when especially you're sitting like 4,500 miles away from the place in question. So in this video, we'll be sharing detailed step-by-step -step process how you can book the apartments as well as some tips and tricks which can fasten your process and you'll get more replies from the landowners. So let's get into the video. So before starting with the video, I would like to thank you all for making us reach for the 100 subscribers. And now let's look into the websites which are famous for the accommodation process in France. Uh, first of all, we would like to talk about the cruise, which is the cheapest option in France. The people say that. And the second is the Studapart. Third is Lebacon.fr. You can see on the screen as well. Selagor, Pap.fr, Spotter Home and Airbnb. So let's start with the Studa part first and then we will be going to start with the others options as well. So finding an apartment on uh, Studa part is very easy but before getting into that let me give you a disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by anyone neither Studa part nor Cruise nor any websites that we've been mentioning. It's just that we are sharing our experience that how we booked the apartment in France and we are just demonstrating you even the uh, addresses and things that we mentioned in the video are just fictitious so uh, keep that in mind so finding an apartment on Stude Apart is very easy just go on Google type in Stude Apart the first link that you will get uh, click on it you have to make an account obviously uh, enter your email ID your password and after that you need to log in so the first thing that it asks you is where do you wish to live so in our case we wish to live in reams and we'll just type in the code it's five double one double zero and uh, the next thing that is asked about is what is my professional situation so i'm a student where would i be studying neoma business school let's click next when would you like to move in generally neoma classes start around september so we'll just put first of september and how long would i like to stay it would be around six months or if you plan to stay indefinitely you can click on a plan to stay indefinitely uh, next maximum monthly budget in this case will be uh, just taking a number let's say 500 euros per month and you can see it is also the average result which is there in dreams and this is the landing page where you'll be going so viewers you might be seeing that there is this red ring around my name and it says rental record incomplete so let's just get rid of this in order to do that you need to do it in three steps you need to enter my information you need to enter your financial situation and your tenant document. Let's start with my personal information. Six, Mr. Your name, your surname, you enter your phone number, you move towards your presentation of the tenant. So I'll just enter TLF Colony Pipers. Like I said, a fictitious address for me, but you have to obviously put in your original address and it, I think it should match with your passport yeah. details. So you put your address, your birth date, your city of birth and nationality. Spoken languages, uh, for me it's Hindi and English. If you can speak French, you can even enter that. Next, we go to the presentations. So the presentation is just a brief overview of who you are. You'll just enter, I'm a management student in Neoma Business School Dreams campus. I need a flat for six months and you can just change the campus and the university or school that you're starting in. So moving over to the financial situation, uh, first you need to enter your net income if you have any enter here for me it was zero and uh, other incomes if any zero for me so if your family is paying any allowances uh, I've just entered 650 euros here and uh, I am I a scholarship holder it was no for me so no again and what is your status uh, so tenant for me of course and this is how you get done with your financial situation so the next step is tenant documents either you can upload an id card or a passport in my case i uploaded passport uh, the next thing is student card or proof of acceptance if you are having a student card you can upload that if not upload your acceptance letter and it will do the work so scholarship holder certificate i didn't had scholarship so i didn't upload any and once you upload all these your personal information is complete all these three steps are complete so the next step is guarantor let me talk briefly about guarantors so this is the situation all over in france if you're looking forward to get an apartment the leasers usually ask for a guarantor who can like vouch for you they can cover your expenses in case if you are not able to cover so since we come from a different country, as a student, as an international student, 
it's highly improbable that I'll be having any guarantors who are residing in France. So it can either be guarantor residing abroad, which in our case abroad would be any other country like for us it would be India. Or there are websites like GuarantMe and uh, Vizal where you can find a guarantor. But since you are on Sudabart itself, Sudabart also can be your guarantor. The problem that there is uh, with other websites like Vizal and GuarantMe, I don't know whether it's the case with everyone, but with me, what happened was on Vizal, I asked for them to be my guarantor and they just asked me to upload a long stay visa. So in the first case, you are applying for accommodation to get a visa, to get a long stay visa. And then they are asking you to upload the long stay visa itself. So I don't know, I don't understand the cycle. Uh, this might be a glitch back then when I was applying, but it might have changed. So any of our viewers, if you have been able to do that, kindly just comment it and it will be helpful for other viewers of ours. So let's get back to the student part guarantor thing. And it's very efficient and very helpful. I'll show you how. Either you can uh, click on I have a guarantor res residing in France or guarantor residing abroad or you can enter multiple guarantors if you have. But this is not what I've done and I'll show you another way how you can just get a guarantor and you'll just skip all the hassle. You, you just need to click on find out more. You are redirected to this uh, page where you need to enter your name, your last name, your university and maximum rent budget that you're having. You enter the uh, duration of your rental. So let's just enter six months and ideal move-in date. For us, it's uh, 1st of September. So you can see the total price amount to 159 euros and it will be variable like the moment you will click on 12 months it changes to 300 euros so this would be a one-time single installment that you have to pay to suit the part and suit the part will be acting like guarantor for you uh, how cool is that so as you can see on the screen it says with a badge with your name your profile will be standing out and you'll be appealing more to the uh, leasers so like it says uh, that Studapart will become your guarantor. It will do it without any extra cost. However, this is the cost that you are paying, like 159 euros. Uh, we would like to suggest that you uh, stick with six months of uh, guarantor profile uh, with Studapart because uh, maybe you'll come to France and you'll feel like changing the apartment or anything can happen. So uh, just looking out for a six months profile would be great. And also there are some of the leasers who do not want a, a guarantor. However, this is highly improbable but this can happen so you can even look out for that uh, I would suggest making out an offer to the landowner and see if they are really asking for a guarantor or not moving on to the next step we'll go to the home page it will take some time but you'll notice that the red ring around your profile your name would turn to green and what I've seen while applying for an apartment in France was it changes a lot because when they see that every kind of documentation is completed it appeals more to them and also uh, one more thing you don't have to worry about uh, your privacy with the documents that you've uploaded Studapart only shares the documents with the prospective leasers who want to give you an apartment uh, let's show you some examples of uh, the apartments let's click on this one this is 86 meter square entire home for four people and I also want to tell you all these advertisements and apartments are Studapart's and the house owners properties we don't own it we don't rent it we are not a company we are just demonstrating it so this uh, apartment uh, 86 meter square entire home for four people you can see that the equipment it shows you the whole guide how there are fridge household equipment like chair closet tv hot plates everything is there you can see whether it matches your requirement or not you can check whether the house is eligible for APL or ALS which is the housing aid schemes like CAF whether it, is it available for that and you can also check out whether the leaser is responsive or not so here you can see the response rate uh, around 84 percent so you know how to judge that so next step there's a whole description about the whole apartment see whether it suits you there's this energy diagnosis and the landowner also specifies the minimum rental duration and guarantor solvency see whether it suits your uh, budget and other things another cool feature about student part is you can see whether your university is near or far away from your place so just enter the name of the university uh, type search and you'll see that it's 29 minutes by walking and 13 minutes by cycling so it's a cool feature to have and you can just have an idea how far the commute will be and now let's look at some other options as well uh, this apartment 
is available with all these things what you can also do on sudo part is you can individually look at your room how your room looks. there are a couple of pictures available and uh, the furnishings and everything like i mentioned in the last apartment uh, it's there and you can see the services such as hot water electricity internet and heating is included in the price that you're paying however housekeeping and cold water is not included so you can see whether it suits you or not so next thing i'll tell you how to contact the landowner you just click on send a message you click on your room requirements your preferred room requirements the preferred rental period that you wish to stay in and just a small message uh, about yourself where you're studying and when you'll be entering for how long you want to lease the apartment all these details will be entered here and you'll just send a message so after sending this message you have to keep in mind that this is a lengthy process and you have to keep some patience uh, there will be some landlords who will be accepting your proposals some will be rejecting some would be replying to you in French but there is an option in Suda part where you can convert it to English as well you have to keep on applying for the maximum proposals out there only then you'll be able to have those possibilities for different apartments so our suggestion would be apply as much as possible once you send the message and the landowner accepts it he'll be sending you a proposal which will be telling you about the duration of the lease and also about the costs associated with it like one month rent uh, sometimes one month or two months of security it will also be including the fee that you'll be paying to uh, stood apart like 199 euros and remember the money that we paid for uh, stood apart being your guarantor so let's just say your apartment is around 399 and you're paying 199 as a charge to sue depart and almost 159 for sue depart to be your guarantor for six months it will amount to almost 750 euros and even higher if they are asking for security money as well so this is roughly the amount that you'll be paying one thing that we would like to suggest to you is that sometimes landowners ask you to pay a particular sum which can be a rent or security money in their personal accounts and not through pseudo part so i don't know how that works but we would like you to be beware of scams that can happen internationally because you're not here you might not be in france itself and you need to book this apartment so it is safe to book from pseudo part because it also provides you a guarantee uh, that if the apartment is not there your money is only transferred to the apartment owner just five days before the lease starting date this was the case which was last year but maybe the things have changed after this is done you'll be getting a certificate from stood apart which will be stating the amount that you've paid to the stood apart website it will also be reflecting the price distribution that what amount went where so it will be like a receipt for you and you can also use it in your filing process further another thing that you need to remember is that you need to ask for a valid id proof from the landowner it can either be their passport or their driver's license and uh, their iban number which you can use as a proof for the landowner's existence another thing that we would like to suggest to you is take a proper contract from the uh, leaser which is specifying when is your contract starting and for what duration the contract would be applicable so these are the documentation that you also have to use for visa filing process further now let's talk about the cruise in more detail you might be seeing a link right now on the screen which is also attached in the description below just go on to that link cruise official page will be appeared firstly you have to enter the postal code of the place where you are looking for an accommodation then you have to enter the maximum price that you're willing to pay over there and after that the type of cohabitation most of the people might be looking for the single occupancy room but if you are moving as a couple or you are having your girlfriend along with you so we don't recommend you to go into the cruise just leave that talk and moving further just press on the blue button and then you can see the options and the room availability do check the room sizes according to your convenience and then move with the process further here are some photos from the cruise website which will help you out to get to know more about the cruise residency however the rooms are not as good as they look in these pictures but if you want a particular video on the cruise residency please do comment below we might cover in future is it a cheap option we don't think so 
it might be providing you with the bigger amount of 180 euros per month for the calf allowance but the place is very small and even you have to pay the 4 euros per laundry for the each wash so we don't think so that it's a convenient option as per the international student you have to bear a lot of cost but there are some plus points as well there is a mess inside the cruise which provides the food for 4 to 5 euros which is quite cheap as per the european standards but coming as an international student again it can be a bit expensive for a international student so look accordingly and if you cannot find the good options over there in the cruise then you can go with the websites we have provided you right now just like the struda part and the others options as well so one more point we would like to add right now that airbnb can also be a viable option for you one of our friend admitted into the neoma got approved this file from the embassy but most of the consultancies doesn't approve that airbnb can also be an option so choose as per your own risk and if you have any query please do email us or just write in the section below that's all for today and keep showing your love and support till then stay tuned bye